Okay guys, this is a easy tutorial on the F450. I bought the kit from uh, LHI official store on AliExpress. It's pretty cheap uh, and you get uh, everything you need or nearly. So you get the frame. It's good with four 30 ampere Simon cask. Oh okay, guys, sorry for my English. I'm Italian, so is what you is what is it. Uh, the frame it comes not welded obviously I already weld uh, all the esc to the board and you get uh, um, 12 uh, banana plug so you can make a nice plug that's you must weld it on the motor they already weld but it's pretty easy I'm not good with welding and it's very easy then you get the FSI6 uh, RX that's good cheap uh, for beginner what uh, people say so it's good then you get all the electronics that is uh, Arducopter 2.8 GPS module uh, I bought the pack number 15 so you get the 8 uh, M8N uh, GPS module and with a 433 telemetry set that's the rx that you get with the uh, with the tx and it support uh, ibus so uh, that's the usb part of the telemetry set for the pc and you get with it a otg cable so you can plug it on the phone then you get four motor LH, LHE 12, uh, 2212 920kV that's I already mounted on uh, another copter and they were good uh, remember black is uh, counterclockwise silver is clockwise then you get some uh, extra banana plug uh, retractable uh, uh, stingy for uh, the cable I don't know what's the name these are uh, motor cover protector then what you get you get some uh, xt60 xt60 and uh, dean uh, dean plug dean t t dean no then you get a um, distributor board that you don't need actually because the, there is a, the pad on the bottom it already have a distributor board integrated so I should not to use this one we can use it for our next build and then you get four props the legs and that's it what you need to buy extra is not necessary but I bought it it was a power module 3, 3 euro on, uh, as well on Aliexpress and uh, there's no uh, leg for the GPS module so well, in my case I got a 3D printer so I, I'm in train of doing uh, as with a stick, uh, aluminium stick, a small uh, leg for it so uh, I read some people it doesn't use it and some uh, it say better to use so you don't get inter interference from the electronics especially from motor S is what interfered the most apparently so don't know, I'm not a pro, I just first, uh, second, third drone uh, I'm doing it so uh, well what you get when you get it first thing you do you board you weld the board it's pretty straightforward there's some sign on the board minus and plus on the on the along one let's say the no asymmetrical one you plug the the xt60 or the the plug you prefer and in the other there's plus and minus so black and uh, black on minus plus uh, on uh, red on plus and you weld uh, well all the all the esc uh, normally some hot glue on it uh, after it will be good so we have it we, we we don't get too much chance to to burn everything out uh, good things to do what some uh, told me to do and i do it because uh, it's it doesn't take time so you always check that there is no see red and red it's okay red and red it's okay 
Matter, red and, red and black, it must not be okay. Red and red is okay, red and black is not okay. So, you don't want to hear noise when you touch red and black. That's basic. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a good user of the of multimeter, but at least this, it works. So, then, when you mount it, you just, once you, you welded this, you welded the, the back plate, you put the leg on it with the screw. Ah, uh, well, well, you get screw more than what you need for everything. In every pack there is some screw, with the leg there is some screw. When you mount it, you must use the, um, for the forearm, you must use the, um, the screw that you find with the legs. Because they are longer. If not, you will, you will have to, to, to do it again. And when you follow the some tutorials on YouTube, they don't tell you to put the legs straight straight away, but you put them straight away because if not, you have to unmount everything and reput uh, and put the, the screw after. So you just uh, choose screw for leg. You put them with the with the arm. You tie it up, and that is what you get. Then we do some cable management and all. Then we have the plate, so we can proceed with the plate. We got the screw, we got the key, and I probably will try go go fast forward right now. So Okay, so motor are mounted. Now uh, we have to wait to mount the, um, the electronics. The thing is, uh, I read that lots of people um, advise to mount the helicopter, the flight controller, on an um, anti vibration pad. And they, saw, they sell it uh, for few 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 euros. I found some good project on Thingiverse, so I'm printing out and I'm waiting to that it finished so I will put it in here and I can put the flight controller in here. Uh, in the flight controller there is a arrow that say which which say which way is forward. We have to be careful to put it in the forward way as well like in the GPS module there is a, a small arrow here and that means this is forward. For the for the power supply in the FC, okay. So in here, if you buy one of these, the power module, uh, there will be a plug that go in here. In here, there is a plug that say PM. PM is power module, and power. we plug it there. Just on top of this plug, you will see there is a small jumper called JP1. Uh, it's like one circuit, one circuit. The jumper it may connect the two circuit together. That's because um, you can uh, supply the power through the ESC. So if you don't have this one, if you don't have the power module, you just leave the jumper on, JP1 on, and when you will plug the ESC, they will uh, supply power to the whole board. If not, you in the L, uh, you get out the, the jumper and you plug the the power module. I, that's all for now. The motors are on. I will not. Uh, I did some cable management with some con, some cable tie uh, in here. I did not uh, tie this up again uh, yet because uh, in the ESC you have, we have three cables, no colors, and we can plug plug the three cable from the motors there's no no uh, good or wrong uh, way to plug them you can mix them up uh, one different from the other is not a problem the only thing is uh, um, I didn't tie them up because once I will uh, start the motor I will see in which way they run if they run uh, clockwise or counterclockwise before I told you um, 
one is clockwise and the other one is uh, counterclockwise because of the thread on the on the on the bullet. Uh, different color, I mean they have a different thread, and you want the right thread uh, in the right position. If not, when you start to spin the motor, the the, the prop is just uh, spin out and will fly away alone. Hi guys, okay, so I finished the build. I put the GPS module on the on his stick and the APM uh, uh, anti-vibration pad uh, on the drone. I, I put some cable tie for keep everything nice and tidy, tidyish. And about the APM, eh? after many try and few hours, that's the only way that you can mount this at least for this particular APM that you buy from LH, LHI the 2.8 that's the only way that it works with this uh, GPS module so in here just next to the GPS plug you will see there is three set of pin you will put the jumper in the last set of pin the one nearer uh, to the to the RX uh, cable and then you will plug the two plug um, one in GPS and one in the little port or down the GPS. In some tutorial they say to put it uh, the little uh, this one to put it in here. With this one it will not work. So you can try. I I try everything. I did not uh, break anything. So you can try if you want. But that's the good way to make it work. Uh, in the mission planner it will looks like if. Uh, you, you, the two compasses will work together, but actually not. The APM compass it, it works, but it raises it every time you you will uh, you will turn off the drone. That means that uh, if you put uh, the GPS uh, compass uh, east and the drone uh, north, when you turn off and turn it on, the GP the mission planner will tell you that you're pointing east as the GPS uh, compass, uh, the compass in the GPS module was saying. And the, um, the, the helicopter compass, it will, uh, it will adapt to it. Um, apart from that, I put here yeah, the, the APM, as I said before. Uh, I already tried to, to fly it. Uh, there was too much wind to do some, uh, the auto tune and the auto trim but already like that it was working pretty nice um, some little trim need to be done so first day without wind uh, i will do the auto trim and stabilize mode uh, return to launch smart return to launch everything works uh, worked very well uh, the telemetry set uh, it's good i i didn't know that but the telemetry that what you get in mission planner or in the app uh, on the phone is awesome there is like many information uh, and you can set it uh, straight uh, on the spot you don't need to plug a cable or go you just send this, uh, set up the on the app or on the software send it to the drone and that's it um, and that's all uh, I will put some link for the S calibration and for the many more other information that you can find of a guy uh, that do very good tutorial. And this was only for explain well uh, in, with this particular kit how to set up things uh, so that you will not spend uh, two three hours on on uh, on set it up like I did and i searched unfortunately they are do the 2.8 uh, apm are not really uh, um, official they are like clones uh, good clones but there's many version apparently so one it works with a plug over here the other works with a plug over there the, the other one in no no jumper uh, you will find many many discording information on it for this uh, one the 2.8 from lhe LHI is like that that it works and uh, I must say thanks to them because the, the drone uh, is it's very nice uh, it's 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 a messy drone that's I must say I, I will probably do something to put on top and hide everything but it looks like I like like that uh, only things I added um, 
a 10 channel um, RX because uh, I will put a gimbal on it and I wanted to control uh, both uh, yaw, yaw and uh, pitch uh, with the 6 channel you're just uh, too, too right uh, you need four channels for the commands, one channel for the mode selector, and one channel for the gimbal. Um, I wanted to have a two channel for the mode selector for the flying mode, and two channel extra for the gimbal. So the ten uh, channel one is was the the best way for me, but it's not necessary at all. Um, that's it. I will look how to to set the I bus. Because you can put uh, the I bus on this one, it's not uh, natively adapted. You need to flash the the firmware uh, in it, like it's a bit more messy. But uh, I will definitely look to do it because uh, uh, for what people say, I bus is much more responsive. But anyway, it's a very good drone for uh, 110 euro. It's pff, top notch.